What is up guys and welcome back to yet another Mortal Kombat leak video. Now for today's video we have something pretty crazy and that's the senior production manager of Netherrealm Studios, the company that makes the Mortal Kombat and Injustice games, accidentally leaking Mortal Kombat 12. But anyways, before I get into any of that, like always, be sure to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so this is actually something that happened quite a few months ago. It happened at the end of January of this year. However, for anyone who doesn't know, I stopped YouTube last year in December, so I never found out about this. I just started posting recently again this month in September. So any leaks that came out from December of last year to September, I have no clue about. And this leak is one that I just found completely insane because it's true it's not like you know it's not like we have to think about it like it's something that actually happened which in a way confirms mortal kombat 12 which is it's just so weird to me and i'll get into why later but anyways let's go ahead and get into the leak so go ahead and check this out now this is just the article explaining everything that happened and it'll give us a good basis for the leak so let's go ahead and read this so this article says mortal kombat 12 leaks 28 january 2022 Jonathan Anderson, a Netherrealm senior production manager, may have revealed a big clue that the studio's next game could be Mortal Kombat 12. Anderson tweeted the image below before scrubbing it 10 minutes later. Eagle-eyed fans spotted that on his monitor was a file named MK12 underscore mast. Those fans willing to enhance the image further will also spot part of an email that reads our fans eagerly scrape the internet for any trace uh take extra care with this material some fans believe this might have been a deliberate leak we certainly know how much ed Boon loves to tease fans netherum has refused to comment on the post so we'll just have to wait for an announcement from the studio okay so i guess the things that really make this seem real is two things well technically three first that this tweet or the image oh yeah by the way here's the image i forgot to post that so this is the image that was tweeted now like i was saying the things that make this all seem very real is that 10 minutes later like i said in the article he deleted it he deleted the tweet 10 minutes later the second thing is that in the files you see mk12 underscore mast as well as an email, which this is the third thing, saying our fans eagerly scrape the internet for any trace, dot, 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 take extra care with this material. So what appears to have happened, although I don't know how, like if you're a senior production manager for Netherrealm Studios, you should be very careful with any pictures you post. But I guess he was just trying to post a picture of all this artwork. As you can see, we see Injustice 2 things, uh, some old Mortal Kombat images, a Mortal Kombat 2 poster on the right. And I guess, I don't know, I don't know if he was just posting that to like show us, you know, some nice memorabilia from Netherrealm Studios or what. But in the top where you can see the monitor, you do see a few things that in a way confirm MK12. Now, my best guess and this is like just what I think of this, is that maybe Mortal Kombat 12 was a temporary name given to the next game until they find or until they come up with the real name. So it's like MK12 was just like a holder name. You know, they were just holding it titled MK12 until they get the real name, which who knows what it could be. And it looks like this senior uh, production manager actually did accidentally get those uh file names and those messages on his monitor and just didn't notice it and posted the image with that so i just like i said my guess is that this actually was an accident and that the next game will be a mortal Kombat game i don't know if it's gonna be mk12 i don't know about that but this just honestly a lot of it does seem very real to me and what sucks is that like i said this was in january it was at the end of january of this year like when the hell are we gonna get this revealed man it's we're almost at the end of the year and have not gotten a single and uh, anything we haven't gotten an announcement a tease a reveal nothing i don't know what they're waiting for man but this does give me a bit of hope like i said i had not seen this until like literally yesterday and i think this is pretty cool i think this is actually the best evidence that we have towards a mortal kombat game being announced in the very near future so 
let's just see what happens guys what do you think about this do you think this is real do you think this is fake i just the whole thing of him having to delete it and all that that, that makes it seem kind of real i don't know but anyways like always let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below thank you for watching and peace